welcome, welcome, welcome back, family, to another episode of the Family Affair. Yes, I'm glad y'all came up on in here. Y'all know I done took that video up and set it up for y'all to be looking at over there with Candy and let's speak on it. And that mess she gave us over to some excuses of the last episode that aired on Sunday. I don't know when she's going to speak her mind and it be truthful. But we're going to, uh, hopefully one day, she's going to come into her own truth. And she's going to be breaking tea on her own uh, cast members. Where we can get right on into it without any chaser. Well, she's boring us to death with what she calls her truth. But it's really not her truth. So y'all go on over there and watch that video. But we're going to go on and get right on to this one. Okay, because it's a, uh, I don't know if the scene is going to come up for next week's episode of the Real Housewives of Atlanta that's airing on the 23rd of February, or it may be coming up before the season ends. But yes, honey, we got a um, story we want to talk about that came from OK Magazine, and it's featuring Mike Hill and Cynthia Bailey not being able to communicate. <laughs> I'm like, well, tell me something that I don't know. Okay, fam, tell us something we don't know, okay, magazine. All right, but anyway, they go on to give us a story. If I can get my phone acting right. They give us a story about, uh, well, let's give the person they created who wrote it. It was Nadili, let me spell that, L-A, I'm sorry. N A L E D I Nadali, a late wait a minute, non lady or something like that. Ushi, U S H E. I'm sorry, I am killing this person's name, but forgive me. But we did try to give you your props for writing up this salacious story that my family and I are going to partake of. Okay, but they titled the um story uh of the article cynthia bailey and fiance mike hill get into heated argument on the real housewives of atlanta and i don't want to deal with that bullshit okay now that's what they gave us a little excerpt of what's coming up for next week or before the season end or mike pretty much saying what he got to say cynthia don't like it she walk out and then he goes on to say see that's why i don't i don't really want to be married i'm not really want to get into a situation like this because i ain't I ain't here for the bullshit i'm saying well then mike why did you get down on one knee why did you uh make this your third proposal to a woman that you it seemed like you don't plan on being with so why even go through the headache the horror and the heartbreak that you're gonna bring to cynthia okay because we're gonna be up all in your ass you know you're gonna wish you didn't know about real housewives of atlanta you're gonna wish you were on this platform because yeah we do like cynthia we do love cynthia and we respect cynthia okay we come for her she fam okay so we'll come we, we, we'll come with the with the heat on you honey on our platform so you better straighten up and fly right because your credit ability <laughs> will be in jeopardy i'm telling you because if you mess up with cynthia man all social media platforms gonna be hitting your name so hard it's gonna be somewhere where you're gonna want to run out of town somewhere okay but everybody gonna know who you are because you don't put yourself on so many uh different issues with cynthia on different platforms and spreading everything we know who cynthia bailey will unless we was in the sports arena we didn't know who you were mike okay she introduced you to our platforms of entertainment okay and we don't all go into being on the platform and watching sports all right and that's where you were residing at the time so you kind of needed um cynthia to cross over in a sense all right but anyway we're gonna get right on into this article uh, like I said, it was titled Cynthia Bailey and fiance Mike Hill get into heated argument on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. I don't want to deal with that bullshit. Okay, that's what he said, y'all. Uh, it was put out on February 17th, which was today. Okay, it says the reality star wants to go to therapy with her fiance to work on communication. You see, that's what I'm saying. I don't know why these women ain't even married to these men, but yet they don't put them in therapy. Uh, point and takes, um... Portia and Dennis over there ain't married baby mama baby daddy and they ain't married but they in therapy okay where did that go wrong now Cynthia talking about she wants to go to counseling with Mike Hill and all of his past garbage baggage that he's bringing up 
prior to them getting married about, oh, I didn't love my uh, first two wives. And you asking the right question, Cynthia, but you should have been asking that prior to being thirsty to get him to propose to you. Okay. You would have found out a lot of more uh, secrets about him. But now you don't put yourself on a platter where it seems like if you don't get married to him, you'll look like a fool maybe. And if you do get married to him, people still going to look at you like a fool. But it just is what it is. You have to... Uh, Play the tune to your own pipe of music that you're dancing to, Cynthia. Okay? But anyway, we go on to the article or into the article. It says, Cynthia Bailey and Mike Hill got into a fight on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. I'm going to sidebar and say it was verbal. It wasn't physical. Going back, it says, over their issues with communicating. In a preview for the February 23rd episode, the Fox sportscaster admitted he usually walked away during arguments because he doesn't want to deal with the bullshit. Okay, that's what he said. It's in black and white. Um, then it went on to say on the February 16th episode of Real Housewives of Atlanta, Cynthia 52 hinted at relationship issues with Mike 49 in a conversation with Kenya Moore. She said, Mike, he actually wrote this book. It's called Open Mike, and it really talks a lot about his past relationships and the infidelity in those relationships. It's enough to be concerning. Well, Cynthia, like I said, you didn't have to get engaged to this man. This man had already told you he's going to be bringing out a book. He's using your platform to sport this book around, to shop it around for sales to go up. Because, of course, you know they're going to buy it because it's attached to you. And if they find any evidence in there, they're going to be coming on their platforms uh many vloggers or people just in in general they're gonna be talking about it and they're gonna be like why would you marry a man like this he don't been through too much baggage and drama but did it show that he has uh walked the walk walked the talk and he wants to be a better man uh we all see him or hell i see him as an opportunist but you know if he want to come up on your backs of hard work and in the entertainment field and rub noses and and elbows with people that you know in the business if you want to let them come off on you like that go ahead do your thing Cynthia. do your thing girl you love it i like it all right um but then we go back to the article it says she then asked kenya 49 what are your thoughts on infidelity and especially going into a marriage with somebody who is being super transparent about it honey you got to watch them folks that call themselves being open mic an open book yeah why he didn't tell you about all these girlfriends he had i think it was about 12 of them at that little get together that he had for you you didn't know about them many. You knew he had some, but you didn't know they came as in several, okay? So, he's supposed to be an open book, an open mic. Don't seem like he's being too transparent to me, Cynthia. Even a blind man could see that, girl. Even a blind man could see that. Uh, You need to smell what's cooking in that kitchen that Mike got prepared for you, girl. But anyway, going back to the article, it says, The former beauty queen told Cynthia, You asked me about once a cheater, always a cheater. Yes, but you can learn from your past if you recognize the fact that that was some well recognize the fact that that was wrong and why you did it and that's what counseling does counseling will uncover together why he did those things well i'm gonna say uh kenya was absolutely right in that but sometimes in the counseling field you could you will be finding people to act out they will show you what they want you to do uh, well, they will show you what they want to show you, but then they have ulterior motives to get to another step. So you got to be a very well endowed type of counselor to recognize when a person is just full of shit and they're just trying to play the role that they are trying to change, but then they're not. You know, he might just be a complete narcissist. You know what I'm saying? He want to play the game. He want to sell some books and he want to use you, Cynthia, to do it. So you, are, we would never know. We're just going by on the outside looking in, but you're with this man. Okay. Okay, now you were with the best when you were messing with Peter, and Peter was up front uh, telling you what he was doing. <laughs> he was up front, but see this Mike, he's like a manipulative type of guy. You can see it all in his demeanor and his eyes, honey. He don't have your best interests at heart, but that's something you're going to have to learn. He just likes the atmosphere and the environment you have for him, and he wants to slide on in, in into that uh, role, Cynthia. So if he has to make believe in his mind that he's going to be a good man and husband to you, as long as he plays his part, but I'm sure you're going to find out uh, pretty much sooner than later that he's just not the guy for you but if you go on and marry him go ahead and do your thing girl go ahead and do your thing 
Uh, but going back to the article, it says Cynthia also opened up about her troubles with Mike in a conversation with Nene Leakes after they re reconciled their friendship. One of the things that I've learned, you know, even in my relationship with Mike, is the people that you love, you have to know how to love them and you know how to argue with them too, she admitted. Okay, that may be a true statement for certain things, uh, Cynthia, but keep living, keep learning, and you will uh, find out all the answers in due time. Okay, not in this article, that was just my sidebar. Going back to the article, it says, in a preview for the following episode of Real Housewives of uh, Atlanta, Cynthia and Mike got into a heated argument over their fighting methods. This is why we need to have counseling because we don't know how to argue. The Bravo star told Mike in frustration, oh, you don't know how to argue either. The sportscaster shot back. You see what I'm saying? He playing tit for tat. But my thing is, Cynthia, the object of counseling is not to learn how to argue okay it's learning how to communicate with one another it's more so holding back on what you really want to say because you respect that person and you know that when harsh words come out you can't take them back even though you may uh explain to them that it came out the wrong way just that and third but it will always be there okay so it's more so controlling your anger controlling your tongue and saying the right words at the right time. Because sometimes silence is golden. Until you all can get to a place where you can come back to the table and sit down and have a discussion. But no, Mike is going to try to control you. He's like that. And you're going to spend half your time crying on a pillow. Okay, that's all I got to say. It wasn't in this article. That was just self-experience. Okay, I'm talking from what I know. I experienced the situation. So since I can tell you full-fledged and full of truth. Watch the demeanor. Don't dismiss what you see that you don't like because it's just going to get stronger and you're going to become weaker and weaker and you're going to just be invisible and he's going to take the whole show and run with it. Unless you claim who you are, stand in your shit, get that backbone and start making some rules around now. Okay. Tell him how to treat you. Show him how to treat you. Okay, so he won't mistreat you. What in this article? Just my sidebar. Get into it. Okay. But anyway, going back to the article, it said, you like to be, oh, I ain't got time for this. Cynthia said, why Im imitating Mike Stormer out of the house? Okay. You would like to be, oh, I ain't got time for this. Who, Mike, what you got time for, baby? It don't seem like you had time for your children. Because we saw what you did on the last episode prior to the one we saw on Sunday, what you did to your 17-year-old, almost 18-year-old. You talked over her and, and talked through her like she wasn't even there. And she was hearing all these hurtful things you were saying about her mom, your ex-wife. Did you forget about that? Man, drop him, Cynthia. Drop him, girl. He just getting me heated, and I ain't even with him. Okay, damn, Cynthia. Shit, if he already telling you he ain't got time for this shit, then what you think he going to tell you once you become Mrs. Hill? Sit your ass down somewhere, I'm gone whenever I get back. It's when I get back type of scenario. Girl, what you and Kenya going to be over there in the same household crying and, 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 and whining and talking about how bad y'all husbands are when y'all could have did something about that situation prior to becoming Mrs. Okay, but anyway, that's my sidebar. Uh, going back to the article, it said, you like to be, oh, I ain't got time for this, Cynthia said, while imitating Mike Storming out of the house. When Cynthia was out of earshot, Mike said, yeah, because I don't want to deal with that bullshit. Now, you see what I'm saying? Do y'all see what I'm saying? What kind of man is he? They're talking about he don't wrote a book and he's a changed man. Girl, please, honey, Cynthia, he's just peddling that book, that sorry ass book of his. I wouldn't buy it. I wouldn't care anything that would incite me to even look in the book to think I want to read a little paragraph to see where he was going because he's showing me he ain't chained he ain't chained girl a spade is a spade just a different color oh god damn but anyway going back um to the article it says the couple appeared to have tension because of Mike's book on the February 9th episode Cynthia grilled the sportscaster's friends about his past in which he cheated on his two ex-wives and girlfriends See, he didn't just cheat on his ex-wives. He cheated on his girlfriends. Girl, let that man be a bachelor. Let him be a solidified current and future bachelor. Okay? Because he ain't worth the dime and the time for any true woman out there. Okay? Just saying something. My, my uh, sideboard girl. My sideboard. 
Going back to the article, it said in front of his daughter, Kayla might claim that he never truly been in love until he met the Real Housewives of Atlanta star. Of course, he's going to say that because he's trying to milk Cynthia's platform for as much as he can get and, and get out of it so he can build his own empire. Okay. And she be an ex, meaning number three ex. Okay. Going back to the article, it said the couple appeared to have, uh, well, I'm sorry. It said, um, well, shit, that was it of the article. Let me see if they got something. If I play this video, this audio for you all, if it's talking about anything. <sighs> Come on. Come on, come on. Well, my phone is buffering. I don't know. Okay, that was a little bit, but I don't know. Yeah, so that's basically what it was. It was kind of buffering. But if you really go to um, okmagazine.com and pull up the article um, that was titled Cynthia Bailey and Fiance Mike Hill Get Into a Heating Argument on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, I don't want to deal with that bullshit. And basically, they had gave us a preview uh, for next week's uh episode that's coming up and it's pretty much what they were showing us or what he said Cynthia was giving us a little example of how he says what he says and then he walks away and then you know he just made uh his comments about he just didn't want to deal with the bullshit so i'm like that's what marriage is all about that's what being in a committed relationship is all about is getting to know your partner your partner's ways to see if you can pretty much uh be around it and want to be around it you know understanding each other's ways and attitudes so you can come back to the table when you have little spats or whatnot and say i'm sorry you know what i'm saying definitely not going to bed mad at each other you know because anything can happen that person may not wake up or that person can get in an accident and be dead the next day and you have this overwhelming part of guilt that you feel because you know you shouldn't say what you say it but honey that man is showing you girl he's showing you all day every day what he about and you just not looking Cynthia you're not looking it can't nobody save you from this situation honey you got to save yourself but that's all I had of this particular article that I wanted to bring out on the channel family for us to partake of. So y'all get in them comments. Like I said, it's always a family affair. I voice my opinion and then I want yours on subject matter. So get down in them comments. Express yourself. Okay. And I will see y'all next video. And y'all be blessed. And y'all make sure y'all share my videos. Like, like my videos. And tell people to come over here and subscribe. So we can get more family members up in the house. And we can interact with one another. But other than that, peace and blessings. And I will see y'all next video. Good night.